So the people are quite friendly here in Wellington so, so far. far. Spotting over there, the cable car to the Botanical Garden. I think we should check it out. Is that a common thing in Wellington? It's a nice looking spaceship. So it seems like you're walking to a really fancy neighborhood. What's your impression so far, Glenn? How do you like this, this street? street? Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode here from Clan and Mado in New Zealand and as you can see it's a beautiful day and Very guys nice. we're in Wellington we made it we made our way down to the south our last stop before we head to the South Island and we're gonna explore for the first time Wellington city center so we are currently staying on the other side basically Wellington is kind of like a bay and we're staying on the other side and there's many ways to get to the city center so either you can catch the bus you can take your car but also a really cool way to get to the city center is from Days Bay to the I guess I'm right wharves um, the wharf. station wharf, in yeah. Wellington so we're catching the ferry today look at this nice it's so it's so beautiful. I we think that is the ferry, Madeline. I think this is the ferry. And it's very like, small. And we have <clears> to go. We have like five minutes, Oopsie guys. Day. Look, at, look at the beautiful day, guys. And look guys, at the beach. Look and at the because, water. And because it's our first day, we're going to make a first impression. What do we think about Wellington? Our first unfiltered impression. Oh, yeah. And where's the wind, guys? Oh, can I have your Wellington is the Wellington is supposed to be the, the windiest place in the world. And we have no winds. Very lucky. We're very lucky today. Oh my god. Oh. So we're actually just staying behind that mountain, guys. Right it's, behind the greenery. It's so bright. I took lens sunglasses. I think that's an objective. Gonna search for some off shops and get me some new sunglasses. Oh, off shops in Wellington. I'd say they're pretty good. The charity shops, guys. The charity shops. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, on board we go there. How are you, boss? Okay, with you? No, no, no. Uh, on the boat. Yeah, okay. just grab a seat you where you want. Thank you. How are you, boss? Thank you. Oh, wow, it's open. That's so cool. It's open? I'm it's excited. supposed to be open. Yes, I really like ferries and boats and, and water. <laughs> and, we picked, and we picked one of the most beautiful days to do that. So, because like we arrived like last week, I think. Was it last week yep. in Wellington? Yep. But this will be the first time we're going to explore because it's a sunny day and obviously every city is nice when it's sunny. It's been raining the past couple of days, so... Do I look hilarious? You do, you look a bit mad looking, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of beautiful neighborhoods around this way and there's Lower Hut, also a nice place. And then basically Wellington is on the other side here and it probably takes around 40 minutes to complete the entire ferry ride, so... We're going exploring this little boat. Ooh, more seats down here. How are you, boss? Yeah, I definitely want to stay upstairs. Oh, that's a ticket. I think one way. Yeah, $14. $14. Yeah. We have actually a ticket, one ticket, one free ticket from the host we're currently staying. And we're doing house sitting if we haven't mentioned that now. So the ticket inspector just mentioned that it's usually much more busier. So we got lucky this time. Ah. We have a, an empty. Ferry Almost across empty. the water out to Wellington. Guys, we're approaching actually a deserted island. No, just kidding. It's a Soms Island. The ferry stops here in the middle and then it goes to Wellington and the other way around. And you can walk around, probably takes around an hour, which is super cool to do. So basically, should... you can isolate yourself from society <laughs> by getting off on this island and just enjoy the nature. I don't actually think they would leave you there. Don't think but so. But they can, you can get off and just stay there for the night. Uh, if you like. Sure, I don't think camp so. there. Ghost town. No, we just have here. seagulls swarming the islands. The, bir the birds live here. There's some uh, muddy crafted wood. Guys, we're approaching the harbor and you see the way kind of where the big ferry goes to the south island through this little gap. Huh? We're nearly at Wellington. That's, we're nearly where the, that's where the big ferry to the south island goes. Oh, and that's where the, the water is very dangerous. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend sailing that way. <laughs> no. It looks so close, but then it probably takes another 15 minutes. It looks, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. You're so excited to explore the city, yeah. the capital of New Zealand. Yeah. yeah, I'm so excited. It looks a lot smaller, the city, than I expected as well. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know why. It's very compact. It's a very compact city. It's, and everything is just together in one place here. So it's easier to travel around Wellington yeah. without transportation. Yeah, that's that's a positive thing if you're looking for a place to stay. This is looking beautiful. She's beauty so far. Okay. The buildings have got bigger since we arrived. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a few big companies here having their, I don't know, headquarter. Bank of New Zealand. Oh, wow. Ooh. Look at that. Welcome, first impression guys, loving it so far. Right guys, we're entering the city through the harbour, so we're going to give our first impression. We're going to go for a walk around town, fully explore the neighbourhood. Isn't that right? Yeah, so we just walk around. We do have a bit of a plan in mind what we want to do, but a lot of things are very spontaneous because we just want to wander around and experience this little city. Little big city. Little bit pretty compact city. I mean, honestly, all places are nicer on a sunny day, so that helps. But I do like the vibe so far. Okay. And we do have to get coffee later on because Barnington is known for its coffee capital. Yeah. Okay, all the best, guys. Yeah, yeah. you too. Enjoy, Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your time. Thank you. Bye. See ya. We had quite a lot of interactions so far with very friendly people that travel. So yeah, it we seems just. like a lot of people, even from. Some, old, uh, some seniors from Hawke's Bay and from Taranga. Taranga. We met two elderly couples uh, so far and uh, we had a nice discussion with them there. <laughs> Just talking to, to them the past 10 minutes. Uh, so the people are quite friendly here in Wellington so, so far. far. I mean, as a tourist, so I want to meet some locals. Oh my god. It actually is quite busy. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody's on a break now already from work. Oh yeah, it's almost lunch break. Oh no. Like just about We're catching 12. everybody on the break. Disturbing the peace here in, in town. But that's a good thing. So now we see some interaction. This is a people seeing the life on the street. Wow, look at it, look at the skyscrapers guys. The window cleaners do a great job in keeping the keeping the windows clean. <laughs> oh Glenn, maybe it's the rain and the wind. Where's the wind guys? The wind doesn't exist today. But funny fact, Wellington is known to be the windiest place in the world, surprisingly. It's crazy actually to actually know that. How much is the parking though? All right, I don't know how much the parking is in this in Wellington actually. I'd like to know. I heard it was very expensive here in the city center. Sorry? He got up. He got up? I've never seen him in the first place. Oh no, no, he's around often. Okay. And that's everything he owns. Wow. That's, that's, that's all you need. Talking about the homeless guy that stays outdoors there, I think. Oh, oh Glenn, my favorite uh, pharmacy. The chemist warehouse, yeah, guys, where you get all the good discounts. If you're in New Zealand, you have to check out the chemist warehouse. Not to make any uh, promotion, but like I really like the discounts. And if you need anything, it's quite affordable. It is the cheapest okay. place by cosmetics yeah, and probably. supplements and everything else. So. Oh my God, it's so busy with all them buses but like you look what I'm spotting over there the cable carries to the botanical garden I think we should check it out I look at a little house in the middle of the city they sort of have an old classic Victorian architecture here guys in the middle of the city this little adorable I think it's a house there's actually someone lived there I'm not sure Bennington has a beautiful botanical garden and you can get up there by walking or taking a cable car so you don't so you can do the lazy way I'm taking the Botanical Garden, are we? Yeah, why not? It's a beautiful day, it's the best time to explore this place. Look. Cable car. There it is, a little cable car. Botanic. It's botanic. I thought it was botanical. Botanic garden. It's botanic. What did I say? Botanical? It's botanical. <laughs> I've always called it Botanical Garden. Oh, this, sometimes it is called it Botanical Garden. You're oh, it right. is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this little walkway. It's a cute little town, isn't it? I wouldn't say a little town. Why are we so excited? Probably because we we were waiting like for an entire week to come here, and now we're so hyped up. Oh, so how much it is? So tickets. we should do it then. I think it's expensive, though. Let's see. It. Six dollars. Not too bad. Six dollars. We could okay. actually get the cable car up and then walk back down. Yeah. That's I'll do it the other way. Other way around. What do you think? I think we take it up and then walk down. That's the lazy way, though, man. That's the smart way. That's lazy. Sure. Now we're here already, so let's take it up and then we walk down. Hi. Just two one way. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Pretty funny, ain't you? Okay, there it is, there it is. Look, look. Oh, wow, look, look, look. Oh, my God. So the Wellington cable car was actually built in 1902. Oh. That was a long time ago. That was over 100 years ago. <laughs> Wouldn't expect that. Oh, look at this, look at this. We should go in the end, or should we? Go, go in the other way. Yeah. I don't know. It's so cute. This is so cool. Look at the tunnel. So it runs every 10 minutes. That's very, very freaking, isn't it? That's very freaking. Oh, look. It's not too busy. Yeah, yeah, go on. I mean, it's during the week, what they expect. Let's see, it's busy in the week. Yeah. There's two cable cars, it seems, going up and down. So you have to pass at the exact moment along the rail line so you don't have a collision. Wow, that's some view, isn't it, of the city in the background? You want to check it out? Yeah. Let's go. That's what we came up here for. The See the view of the city. I thought for the cable, uh, for the uh, botanic gardens. Botanic gardens. Well, that as well, but when you're up here, you have to see the view. What a clear day. Like uh, today, you actually see like the Samos Island and you see like the Day Bay and York Bay and you know, Lower Hutt, I think, over there. Lower so Hutt, yeah. It's so, so clear. So the nickname for Wellington is Welly, Welly, Welly Hood. Welly Hood. No, I don't know why. But it sounds like Hollywood. It does. There's some planes in the distance, guys. We have uh, Wellington Airport there, just behind the mountain peak over here. So yeah. what a place for, for an airport with such chaotic winds that happen <laughs> here in Wellington. But it doesn't actually seem so big. So I'm realizing that you can actually walk everything. And go yeah, by, yeah, yeah. You know, walking everywhere. Welcome to the Botanical Garden. So right at the exit of the cable car is the start of the Botanical Garden. I honestly have a, gonna grab a map here. I, I don't know how big it is, so it probably takes a while to walk around. So I um, have to figure this out. Oh my God, this is adorable. <laughs> how lovely. That's adorable. Do you want to pet it? Oh. Okay, are they from the botanical garden or no? No? This your own lambs walking okay, around? Yours? Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. Is that a common thing here in Wellington? Huh? Is that a common thing in Wellington? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've we've dealt with a lot of lambs on the on the farms, so uh. <laughs> It's a pretty nice garden. Botanical gardens here. On top of the mountain here in Wellington. It is beautiful. It's thriving with life, but not fully blossomed yet, unfortunately. So we have some cactuses as well. Hopefully you don't prick your finger so much. But look, it's lovely. It's a lovely place. We have people living in the mountains. What a place to live, living the high life. But we haven't fully explored the botanical gardens yet. We're gonna continue to walk around and fully explore this area. But when I compare this to New Plymouth, Botanical Gardens. I'm not sure if there's much of a comparison because New Plymouth Botanical Gardens was absolutely insane. It was beautiful. But this is also nice. Don't get me wrong. This is, here, this is more attention to details. You yeah. know, all these... It's pruned very well. Yeah. Very good job, gardeners. The bee lady, Alison Clouston, created this fine sculpture out of wood. It is called Welly, look, it's called Welly Wood. Welly, Welly, Welly. Ah, Welly Wi-Fi. What a great Wi-Fi name. Great way to represent the city. <laughs> Where are we going? So look to the side here, we have a lovely view. Looking over the gardens. And look at all the house and estate in the back as well. It's beautiful. Look at the bees, bees guys, oh my God. They even have beehives here in the, in the gardens. <laughs> guys, I'm wearing yellow. It's probably bad if I step close to the bees, they'll chase me. They like yellow. <laughs> I guess stung the bits. Where are we going? We're just doing a big lap around the park, guys, exploring while we're here. Wow, beautiful. So I actually heard like the most popular part here in the Botanical Garden is the rose garden. If you can see that behind of me, these brown patches. So the roses are not blossom yet, so we're kind of a bit too early. They, but yeah, that's apparently the best um, month to see them. And honestly, I do think it's a nice walk, but probably not my favorite botanic garden if you've been to, or if you're going to a new Plymouth, that's gorgeous. Like, it would be special if there's some roses. 
because we're just on Welty Road, just outside the Botanic Gardens, heading back towards the city, towards a cafe. Very fancy area. Oh yeah, 15 Welty Road. There's so many, the, the houses are massive guys. The houses are big. Looks like a very uh, expensive neighborhood. Guys, Wesley Street is beautiful. Look, the houses are amazing. I just tripped over the step. You have a lovely view of the sea here over Wellington City. Oh wow, what's going on out there with the water and the sea? You can see the, the water coming past the building. It must be coming out of a ship. With this water getting sprayed out. But we're gonna walk through this neighborhood down to the city to a cafe so look how beautiful the homes are i think we have a bit of a victoria architecture going on here guys then we have a, a, a spaceship over here to the right <laughs> and then we have some more modern homes here to the left it's for sale the, the spaceship looks like a spaceship oh it is for sale it's a nice looking spaceship. So it seems like we're walking through a really fancy neighborhood. Guys, we're walking down from the Botanical Garden and looking for some coffee. Look at that Victorian uh, architecture. Oh. This is an old home here. Is it Victorian? It's so nice. It's so beautiful. Did you do your research? Is it Victorian? Uh, that's a Victorian home back there anyway. So it must be know? part of the family. How do you know? I said there's a sign back there. Oh, okay. We have a bit of history going on here with some street art, guys. Everton Hall. Oh, nice. Settlers arrived in Pitone in 1840, guys. So it's not too long ago. Hey, how are you? <coughs> that is the cable car there, to the right. The yeah, that's the cable car we took. Then we're walking back down the hill. Very nice. It's a beautiful neighborhood, isn't it? Thriving with trees and nature. And the air is pure. Just walking over the, I think we're walking over the highway. Over the bridge in the town. There's Brother Corporation. Now we have another corporation. This place is driving corporations. Guys, I don't know, I'm not really familiar with the area, so I can't really tell you much about it. So that's why it's our first impression. But it's lovely looking, it is lovely. Busy, people everywhere, lots of traffic, lots of noise. Can't ask for much more, my friend. Not used to now a big city because you haven't been in cities in, in quite a while since Auckland. It's cool though. In small amounts, of course. We haven't been using our feet a lot for walking around the city, so... When I used to. <laughs> hey, who's this guy? What's his name? Oi. So we are currently in the central area and we keep getting uh, encounters of um, local people to see if we're okay and we're not lost. It's so funny, I was just reading a message and it seems like we're lost and someone approaches, like oh, you're lost, do you need some help? It's so so Kiwi people are really super friendly here in Wellington so far, so we've talked to a lot of people since we arrived and they've been super nice, so it's a great experience. So we're fully, Jesus, that's a that's a big skyscraper when you're looking from below. So I think it's Lambert Quay, if I'm correct. You are, yeah. And there's so many shops right and left. So there's a lot of people here at the moment. A lot of people and everything is so big but it's killed cool to explore so the street is quite represented very well it's a very clean area super clean and all the shop fronts look beautiful what are you looking at i see Camper this beautiful mural there and oh, this wow. old hotel look, That's how, so look cool. how thin the hotel is yeah it's really really skinny really old building very old there's St. Mary's Church here behind us, the Catholic Church Centre right in the heart of the city, city centre I find it quite fascinating that it's central, right between all the buildings so. Go, 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 go hey, Where are we going now, Maddo? It's a cafe, right? Street. Cuba? Yeah. Ah, that's famous street, yeah I noticed they have a lot of small shops and boutiques Classic mobiles, Coco Gongcha, gongcha, okay. Man, I feel like we're in India, this shop is so Punjabi, cute. Punjabi food here. A few samosas, a bit of a naan rice dal. That's so funny. A few lamb curries. I've noticed that at lunchtime in the Indian restaurants, they're always 
the meals are always discounted. They always put a special on for lunchtime. So it's very student friendly, there's a lot of students in Wellington. I mean, this is Manor Street. So what's this street? Apparently a really popular street here, Cuba Street. And it's called Cuban Street because a ship arrived in 1840 called Cuba and they actually named the road Cuba after that. It's not because they have Cuban restaurants and bars, it's because they have a ship called Cuba, wow, which clever. arrived in 1840. I'm impressed, your knowledge, I didn't even know that, guys. <laughs> That's a pretty cool street though. Some nice oh. red brick. This is like pretty cool if that they have like um, a pedestrian walk only for pedestrians, not for cars. I it's think the it's the first time I'm seeing this in New Zealand. But that should be the case in central central areas and big cities. It's super common in Europe. We have that a lot, and I really like that. <laughs> now we're just entering Cuba Street. Now I think. Is it? Except the sign there, yeah. No, it was Cuba Street all along. Ah, okay. Oh, the fountain. Look, I, if you know Curls, he's a New Zealand video blogger. He actually made a short about this uh, water fountain. I feel like also a lot of you like local shops, and I do like this kind of artsy, hipstery vibe here. You know, definitely my kind of cup of tea. What's your impression so far, Glenn? How do you like this, this street? This street, personally, it's not my favorite. That's just full of commercial I shops. James Shay Murphy. So like I mentioned, when the Cuban ship arrived here in New Zealand, you can see the, the building was established in 1840. So I'm assuming some of the buildings were actually built around the same time. So, pretty cool fact. Where's this cafe you're talking about? Down here? I want me coffee. I need me coffee fix. Okay, Jenny, you get your coffee in a minute. Okay. I've waited uh, long enough. Unfortunately, the coffee shop just closed. It's two o'clock. And as you know, some coffee shops close at 2 o'clock in New Zealand, which is super early. So we have to go on the hunt for another coffee shop around the corner. I mean, there's plenty around, so we're in the central area, so it's like not an issue. Oh, this is <laughs> we didn't realize it takes so long to get to the other side of the city, so that's why. Happy days combo, $11. Bagels. That's a bagel place, Madeline. I need some food. I'm craving some bagels now. I'm very really sad that the coffee shop was closed, but we're gonna explore that maybe tomorrow. And now we're having some bagel at Ugly Bagels. Bagel time. I haven't had a bagel in a very long time. It's a rabbit bagel, full of veg. It's a butter, tomato, and mm. yeah, a bit of spinach there on top as well. That's basil, man. That's basil, it looks like. Mm. Okay. Mm hmm. They're good. How good? Are they better than Montreal bagels? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. In Canada? A well-known place for its bagels. Oh, look at the cheese, guys. Oh, my God. I'm really stuck <laughs> to the container, look. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's called Swiss cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, melted cheese is beautiful. Is it Swiss I'm not usually I'm not usually a cheese person, but this is, I have to say, it's really good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. You were having a laugh. You were having a laugh, mate. That's crazy. One hour, ten dollars. Absolute That's rip off. Crazy. All right, get out of the way. The, the guy's trying to reverse. Them bagels guys were absolutely, oh, delicious. That went down pretty well. It's been a while since I've had a, a delicious bagel like that. I think I'll come back here again and try a different variation, oh. different, different flavor next time. I think I have just a plain one and get six of them. <laughs> yeah. Guys, you have another historical house there, right in the center of all the big buildings. And then we have an Irish flag up there, Togo LTD. I don't know what the Irish flag is up there for. Must be, uh, there must be a story behind it. Well, who knows? Who knows? It's a mystery. But it's nice to see the Irish presented around uh, Wellington in such a good way. Three star Wellington. Free store, it's called the free store. I wonder what that's all about. What? So I found a coffee shop that's open. Maybe I should talk one. Is it you? Hello, how are you? First time in New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here for a month so far, so. Yeah. How are you in Wellington? 
just here for three weeks and then we're going to the South Island. So. I bet it's a good weather today. Yeah, we got yeah. very lucky. So the coffee shops closed pretty early, so. Oh, it's like. Yeah, so what time, what time do they close? Everything here, like, we don't pee. It's like, too early. Oh, is there anything else open? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Good, approved. Oh, I it. How was it? How was the match? Mm. Up to your expectations? Yeah, up to my expectations. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, beautiful. Guys, we just had the nicest chat with these owners, Natalie, and I forgot the other owner's name, but they're super nice and they're twins, that's why it's called Evil Twins. And if you're in New Zealand and Wellington, you should check out this out, and they do have really great matcha. I approve, guys. The evil, t evil Twins. Evil Twins. What, what a great a cool name. name. And it's a family business, so you're supporting family business. Yeah, yeah, and they're super friendly, guys. They're not your usual cafe owners. They're super, super nice and friendly. <coughs> Guys, I think we're gonna finish up with this video and hopefully you enjoyed the tour of the city. Our uh, first impression, first honestly, impression. I have to say, great city, great really like place. It. I like great the funky people. vibe. The people are so friendly here, so yeah, if you're yeah. in New Zealand, definitely come and visit Wellington. Alright, so catch you in the next episode, guys. Have a beautiful day. Thanks bye so bye. much for watching. Bye!